Hello, welcome to the Ant-Man channel. I am your host, Ant-Man, and this is Tuesday, October the 15th, 2013. And I have an article here in front of me, as usual, here. WND.com, under the column Faith. This one is written by Scott Greer. Supreme Court Justice unloads on Satan. Demons. Tells interviewer devils getting people not to believe in him or in God. Um, thank you, Captain Obvious. But anyways... Let's get into this, shall we? <clears throat> this looks like a pretty long article if I get through this. Uh, hopefully I do, but if I don't, if you want to go look at this for yourself, WND.com, under the column Faith, Supreme Court Justice Unloads on Satan Demons. Supreme Court Justice Antonio Scalia made headlines recently when he declared his belief that the devil is a real being who has a presence in the world today. You're not... Oh, you mean he's not in hell? Huh! All this time I thought the devil was in hell. Huh. Well, no. No, he's not in hell. As a matter of fact, he's probably never been there. He's, he's been here. And according to the book of Job, he can go to heaven whenever he wants. And, and, and it even says that he stands in front of God and accuses you all day long. He's like, see? Matt's not behaving good. You see? That's, that's what he does. His interviewer, Jennifer Sr. of... Uh, New York Magazine was shocked by Scalia's statements, but Carl Payne, author of Spiritual Warfare, Christians, Demonization, and Deliverance, says the reaction is a sign of how secularized certain segments of American society have become. He believes Scalia is right on the mark. Well, yeah, let me just, let me just give you an idea why our country is going away right now. Let me tell you why our freedom is going away right now, because people are so decadent that when you try to tell them about these things, they just laugh at you. They're like, ha, 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 ha. That could never happen here. <laughs> and that's why it's going away, because, because no one's doing anything about it. And then if you tell them that, that this is happening, they're like, you're, you're paranoid, or you're a conspiracy theorist, or you're wearing a tinfoil hat. So anyway, Scalia is right on the mark. The exchange senior, the, you believe in heaven and hell? Huh. Scalia, oh, of course I do. Don't you believe in heaven and hell? Senior, no. Scalia, oh my. Senior, does that mean I'm not going? Scalia laughing. Ha ha ha. Unfortunately not. Let's be uh, real with, uh, with... Let's just get real real quick. I'll let you know something about me. Before I was a born-again Christian, I was, I was guilty. I was guilty before God for breaking a lot of His laws, and I was going straight to hell. Now I'm not. I'm going to heaven. And I have a different worldview now. I have... Instead of just thinking about my circumstances all day... I have a more eternal worldview, like, hey, I'm, I'm going to be here for eternity, whether I'm here or I'm in heaven. So I have a, I guess you could say, a wider box that I fit. I don't know how to explain that. But anyways, let me get back into this. Because I, I go off on these rants, and then I remember somebody commenting on my video saying that I need to organize my rants because it's like all over the place. It's unorganized. I tell you, man, I'm not reading off a teleprompter. I'm just who I am. You know, sometimes I don't even make sense. Don't believe everything I say, either. Go look at stuff for yourself so that you know that I'm not just making stuff up. Senior, wait to, he uh, wait to heaven or hell? Scalia, it doesn't mean you're not going to hell just because you don't believe in it. That's Catholic doctrine. Everyone is going one place or the other. Senior, you don't have to be a Catholic to get into heaven or believe in it. Scalia, of course not. Senior, oh, so you don't know where I'm going? Thank God. Scalia, I don't know where you're going. I don't even know whether Judas Iscariot is in hell. I mean, that's what the Pope meant when he said, who am I to judge? He may have recanted and have severe penance just before he died. Who knows? Well, Scalia doesn't really know the Lord, if you ask me, because if you know the Lord, you know that he is righteous and just and that he punishes people who break the law. So, is Judas Iscariot in hell? You know what's messed up about this is the, the Bible doesn't tell you because it's between God. And, I think that it hurts God that Judas Iscariot went to hell. I think he's in hell. How else? How, 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 can, you, how can you define holiness, justice, and righteousness if Judas Iscariot is not in hell? It says in the Bible it, it would have been better that he would have never been born. That's just, a, that's just a clue right there that God's not happy about what he did. He doesn't like to... It's between him and... Judas is scary, but I'm pretty sure he's in hell, you guys. It's not... You know, there's a couple of characters in the Bible that made me cry. Um, Saul, King Saul, Judas Iscariot, and if I remember the other one, I'll tell you. Oh, yeah, um, uh, Aaron. 
because Aaron didn't help Moses when he hit the rock. He didn't tell him anything, so God killed him. It was sad. But hey, God is that good. You know, he has to punish evil. He has to punish people who break his law and make him look unholy and not good. He has to punish you. Senior, can we talk about your drafting process? Anyways, let me just let me just get in, in here just in case I confused you real quick. If you're if you're in the family of God, he pun he he doesn't punish you like on a big scale. It's more of like he dis he disciplines you like a father does. You're still in his family. He still loves you, but he's not he's not going to send you to hell for for sinning. He's just going to be like, well, I'm going to teach you something so that you realize not not to do that anymore. Anyways, senior, can we talk about your drafting process? Scalia leans in. Uh, stage whispers. I even believe in the devil. Senior, you do? Scalia, of course. Yeah, he's a real person. Hey, come on. That's standard Catholic doctrine. Every Catholic believes that. Senior, every Catholic believes this? There's a wide variety of Catholics out there. Scalia, if you are, a faith if you are faithful to Catholic dogma, that is certainly a large part of it. Senior, have you seen evidence of the devil lately? Ugh. It's like if I were a man of little faith, I guess, I would ask... It's funny that Jesus said that a wicked generation asks for signs. You know what I mean? Like, if the, the Bible's enough of a sign, you know. You'll never get done reading it, and every time you read it, you'll realize way deeper things about it. God puts... He encrypts codes and messages in, in these stories that are so, so deep, man. I mean, I... Oh, man. Sometimes when I, when I, when I have revelations, man, I'm just in awe. I mean... I come to the place where I, I try to imagine where God is seated and I look up in the sky and I try to imagine a gigantic mountain with the stairs and just how high it goes that it's so high that you can't even see the, the, the pinnacle of it. And God is that high and he's sitting on his throne and I could just imagine that in his presence, like I am right now, but in his in his real like right in, like you know, if I was perfect in heaven right now and I was in front of him, I would be in awe. I would be overwhelmed with awe. I wouldn't have anything to say. I wouldn't be thinking anything. I'd just be like, oh, you know what I mean? And that's really how it is. Hey, uh, senior, have you seen evidence of the devil lately? Scalia, you know, it is curious. In the Gospels, the devil is doing all sorts of things. He's making pigs run off cliffs. He's possessing people and whatnot. And that doesn't happen very much anymore. Senior, no. Scalia, it's because he's smart. Senior, so what's he doing now? Scalia, what's he doing now is getting people not to believe in him or in God. He's much more successful that way. And that's true. I think that the, one of the devil's greatest lies is that he doesn't exist. And that's one, of the best, that's one of the best methods that he uses to get people like atheists and people like... Uh, you know what I always say is that the satanic people are way smarter than the atheists. Because the satanic people know what they're doing. The atheists are more like pawns being used by them to just push agendas like if you like if you look at it this way the majority rule like if there's a crowd of people who are uh if there's a majority to have an opinion like gays like they want to they want to enforce you know their 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 opinions on everybody else like gay marriage and stuff like that the devil uses that man he's like you know what screw your constitution screw your laws all these people want what they want and your your officials and your your leaders are going to bow down to them because they're scared of man. They're not afraid of God. They're scared of man and pleasing man. Do you get what I'm saying? Senior, no. Scalia, it's because he's smart. Senior, so what's he doing now? Scalia, he's doing what... Uh, what he's doing now is getting people not to believe in him or in God. He's much more successful that way. Senior, that has really painful implications for atheists. Are you sure that the, that's the devil's work? Scalia, I didn't say atheists are the devil's work. Senior... Well, you're saying the devil is persuading people not to believe in God. Couldn't there be other reasons to not believe? Um, you know, we're in that time where people are don't accept sound doctrine. So there is no absolute truth. And that is what's going on here with this person, Senior, and Scalia, is that he's trying to explain something to her. But there is she's going in circles with nothing here. Scalia, where, well, there certainly can be other reasons, but it certainly favors the devil's desires. I mean, come on, that's the explanation for why there's not demonic possession all over the place. That's always puzzled, that's always puzzled me. What happened to the devil? You know, uh, he used to be all over the place. He used to be all over the New Testament. Let me put it this way. The Nephilim back in the days of Noah, whatever, these people, when, you know, the, the, they were giants. Do you think giants would be effective with machine guns nowadays? No. You just shoot them down. He'd be like a 10-foot man and... He'd be gigantic and strong and all that, but you could just shoot him in the forehead and he's done. 
you know? I think that there are other methods now for this, for whatever these Nephilim people are, dude. They could be what people think are aliens, what are fallen angels, you know, that are living among us and interbreeding with us. Who knows, you know? This is stuff that I honestly don't know, and I can't tell you that I know, because it's, it'd be, I'd be full of it if I told you I knew. Senior, right. Scalia, what happened to him? Senior, he just got wilier. Scalia, he got wilier? Senior, isn't it terribly frightening to believe in the devil? Scalia, you're looking at me as though I'm weird. I, my God, are you so out of touch with most of America, most of which believes in the devil? I mean, Jesus Christ believed in the devil. It is, it's in the Gospels. You travel in circles that are so, so removed from mainstream America that you are appalled that anybody would believe in the devil. Most of mankind has believed in the devil for all of history. Many more intelligent people than you or me have believed in the devil. You know, I was talking to someone the other day and they told me, because I, I was mocking how, how progressive humanists today think that they're smarter than people who lived way back then, like Plato, King David, all these people, King Solomon. People nowadays think that they're way smarter than people who live. That's just stupid. What if we contributed to science or to anything lately? Nothing. We have no creativeness now nowadays. Um, you know what I mean? It's just, it's stupid to think that we're smarter than everyone else. You know what I mean? It's not, we should look at the past and learn from them. We should just be humble and learn from them. We're not smarter than them. I think that we're distracted by a lot of things nowadays. We have all this technology and TV garbage tv and all this stuff you know what i mean it's it's distracting it takes you into like how this person is saying that you're so out of touch with most uh, america this is what i always say about the television it projects a life a real a world that isn't real so that you're always going out and trying to impress other people through this idea that you're getting projected toward you through the tv it's not a real life it's not even real you know what i mean it's just they, they try to make it seem like, you know, they, they set the norms. They set all the standards of what is normal in society because we're so out of touch with each other. We don't talk to each other. We're closed in our rooms. We're, we're to ourselves. We don't want to share our opinions because everybody is like, hey, let's just get along and not bring up things like philosophy and deep knowledge and stuff like this. Let's not talk about that. Let's just twerk all day. Anyways. Uh, Scholar, you're looking at me as though da, 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 I, read, I already read that. Senior, I hope you weren't sensing contempt for me. I, it wasn't your belief that surprised me so much as how boldly you expressed it. Scholar, I was offended by that. I really was. I've had people ask me, how do you have such strong faith? I mean, it's just, how do, how do I, I don't know how to, how to even answer that. You know, I, it's, it's really as simple as I read my Bible. That's all it is. Commenting on the interview, Spiritual Warfare author Payne noted, Scalia rejects the tendency in modern society to com compartmentalize, uh, compartmental, compartmentalize, I can't say that word, I get a tongue twister there, religious beliefs as a personal matter that has no bearing on public life. That's the world we live in today, you know, hey, there is no God, let's just get on with it, you know, it's, it's true though. Anyways, I'm not going to have time to read all of this. Uh, you know, this is a pretty long article, so I, 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 could, I just, you know, I recommend you go read this for yourself. Um, this is an article that has to do with stuff that, that today we battle all the time. The general public is, uses the things that we have today to just ignore God. And, you know, it's, it's really not, um, it's, it's, it's a humongous deal. It's not, a, it's not something you should take lightly. The, the message of the gospel is something that transforms people, something that makes countries go from despotism to straight capitalism. Or, you know, it, 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 it's just so good that I could go on and on about it. But, hey, it's religion and it, it, uh, you know what I mean? So, hey, whatever, dude. Peace.